Hi, it's Luke for Guide to Coffee. In this brewing guide, you'll learn how to get the best results from your coffee plunger. The plunger, also known as a French press, is a simple brewing device that allows anyone to access great, freshly brewed coffee without the need for any complicated or overly expensive equipment. Let's take a look at how to brew. First, we want to start by heating fresh, filtered water. The desired brewing temperature for plunger coffee is just off the boil. We want to aim for about 95 degrees Celsius. To achieve this correct temperature, bring your kettle to the boil and let it sit for a minute or two before you use it. Alternatively, if you have a kettle that you can program the temperature into, set it for 95 degrees. To ensure you can serve your coffee at the correct temperature, preheat your drinking cups and the plunger with hot water. Now we can move on to grinding the coffee. It's always best to use freshly roasted beans. We want to grind the desired quantity of coffee beans at a coarse setting. The coarse setting is for two reasons. One is to prevent unnecessary sediment passing through the mesh filter. Two, to obtain correct extraction of the coffee, as this is a longer type of brew taking around four minutes. If you're grinding your own coffee, adjust your grinder to a coarse setting. Then grind as much coffee as necessary for your plunger. If you're purchasing pre-ground coffee, ask for it to be ground coarsely or for a French press or plunger. You can now empty the water you have used for preheating from the plunger. When brewing with the plunger, the ratio to use for coffee to water is 10 grams of ground coffee for every 150 mils of water. So that's approximately one heaped dessert spoon of ground coffee for every 150 mils of water. The plunger you see us using here is a six cup plunger. We're going to use six scoops of coffee, plus a little bit extra because I like my coffee just that little bit stronger. You can change the quantities to your taste. Now that you've measured out the desired amount of coffee, it's time to add the hot water. So the freshly boiled water needs to be added to the coffee. Add just enough hot water to cover the coffee grounds. Take a spoon and gently stir the mixture together. Then continue to fill the plunger with hot water, leaving just enough space at the top to fit the lid. Your plunger should now be full, showing a beautiful golden crust on top. Take the lid and place it on top, but do not depress the plunger just yet. The coffee now needs to steep for approximately three to four minutes. Set a kitchen timer so that you can keep track of the time. Once the three to four minutes have passed, gently press down on the plunger until it can't be pushed down anymore. This must be done slowly to ensure that you keep the ground coffee separate from your drink. If you encounter too much pressure when plunging your coffee, don't use excessive force as it may cause your plunger to break, leading to injuries. If this is happening, you may need to make your coffee grind coarser. This should be served immediately. If it's left to sit for too long, it will over extract and taste astringent. Pour the coffee into serving cups. Depending on your tastes, it can be served black, with milk or with pouring cream. To be sure you stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks from Guide to Coffee, be sure to subscribe using the link below. For the full guide on brewing great plunger coffee, as well as many other articles, be sure to visit our website. Thanks so much for watching.